everyone here seems so interested in learning not just because they want good grades, although that's part of it, but for learning's sake. I really wanted an environment where students were hardworking, were dedicated, great team players. In grades seven and eight, I was able to get by pretty easily. And I realized that there's something missing, and I realized that I need that challenge in my life to go get over those obstacles. Pretty much everyone who is there wants to be there and wants to learn the material for the classes that they're in and it just provides such a great environment. One of the skills that I think that the IB program has really helped me develop is kind of like my critical thinking and really diving deep and like looking at like the real problem at hand. What I've learned in the IB diploma that I'll take with me into post-secondary, other than just like good study uh, strategies and being able to have good class discussions with other people and working together, I think mainly it's the sense of confidence in myself as a scholar, as someone who has something to contribute to academia or to research or to class discussion. The extended essay is a research paper that we all have to do to fill our uh, IB requirement. Hearing about the, the chance to be able to explore something that uh, might not have had the opportunity to otherwise um, in a normal program, I thought that was really interesting and I really wanted to pursue that. Well, TUK is really unique. It's literally, it's called theory of knowledge. So you're learning about sort of why we believe things or where knowledge in science or history comes from. It's a lot of discussions, it's a lot of changing the way you think, sort of guided by the teacher, but it's really quite self-directed and just refocusing how you see the world. I think TOK really makes you question like how do we produce that kind of information or why do we trust it? And that was really interesting because you sort of start to th see things in a whole new way. CAS is another requirement for the IB program. CAS stands for Creativity, Activity and Service. Uh, it takes place in your community, in your personal life, and in school. It is essentially volunteer work, and a big part of it is also reflecting on that work. Where you have to sort of step outside of the academics, which is a big focus, and sort of engage with the community around you. This also helps me with college applications, because sometimes they have supplementary applications that require you to write about your experiences in high school and uh, present examples of your leadership skills, and CAS really uh, gave me advantage in that sense. I think this is the, the complete program. I think it's, it's the real deal. Um, if you want to further yourself, if you want to develop, you want to grow, you want to develop new skills, learn more information, become more globally aware, I think this is the place to be. Liking and being passionate about school isn't a bad thing. So if you're, if you're like that, then I would recommend you to join the program. Over the four years that I've been in the IB program, I've developed a lot, partly because as you go from grade nine to 12, you're going to do a lot of growing up. But I think, especially with aspects like CAS or TOK, I've learned a lot about uh, what kinds of things I like as a student, as a member of the community, and like what I'm good at. I think I've also learned to sort of question the foundations of things around me a lot more because of TOK, and sort of take more, take academics a little bit like as something that I can take ownership of, which is really important, I think, because as you grow older, you're not just like, consuming what other people give to you, but you also have to think about creating things yourself, and I hope to do some more of that in university. So I think IB has really given me the chance to grow as a student in many ways.